Morning everybody, this is Arky Rick from Arky Homesteader Channel. Do you know what you're looking at right there? This is called Milo. It is a grain that is grown for feeding purposes of livestock. Well, I suppose people could even eat it if they had to. But um, I grew some of this to this year because I've been having such a problem with growing corn because of lack of water. And uh, one of the problems we've been having here in Arkansas is we've been getting, we'll get real heavy rains in the spring, but boy, in the summer it gets really hot and no rain. I live up on a mountain at about uh, 1,500 feet in elevation and uh, the problem is is that rain seems to go around this mountain so i've tried corn for several years if you look off into the distance there you can see what i grew this year and i actually grew more and i've already cut it down and plowed the ground but the uh did really really bad it just doesn't develop i've only had one good year in about five years and that was a year that i irrigated and that became a difficult thing because my hoses all kept wearing out and it was just too much of an expense to um, pump from the uh, pond to these particular gardens. If I'd been closer, it might not have been so bad. But anyway, uh, a friend of mine told me plant Milo. So this was a uh, potato field here this summer and we harvested the potatoes and then uh, planted this milo and this was right in the middle of the summer and it was really hot no not much rain and the stuff grew anyway now milo as a rule gets to be about six seven feet tall so that can give you an idea of what <clears throat> the lack of rain caused but i did get a whole bunch of grain here and i'm going to harvest this all by hand i'm going to hand cut it and put it into that bucket in that tractor and I'm going to haul it back to my house. And uh, I'll tie it in bunches and hang it in the barn. And then through the winter I'll feed it to my cattle and to my chickens. And my chickens just love this. And it's really good for them. And being that they like it, it'll help supplement the uh, feed bill. So uh, that's what I'm going to do with this stuff. I'm going to start cutting it this morning. been cutting it with these and it's a little bit of a slow process so I'm going to try a long knife.
All right, after we uh, harvest the uh, Milo, we take it and we take uh, bunches of it, tie them together, and we hang them inside the, this corn crib, let them dry out. Now, we only got a few in there right now, but uh, uh, this will be, all be full by the time we, we get her done. And uh, that way, when uh, through the winter, we can grab bunches of that and we can feed them to our livestock. And uh, they just love it. Is it good? Yeah.